All right, we're back with our last book club video for What a Fish Knows by Jonathan Balcombe. And up first are two stories about two different fish who create pretty elaborate nests. The first are puffer fish that create these crop circle looking nests and they lay their eggs in the center of the crop circle and that helps camouflage the eggs and also protect them from uh, the currents and from floating away. And then there's sticklebacks who actually poop glue and use that glue to adhere leaves and sticks and algae to their nests to make them more attractive. The rest of the breeding chapter is uh, pretty R-rated, um, so I'm going to let you get in there and read all about that on your own. But when we get into parenting, there's two, uh, well, let's say three really cool stories. First, cichlids actually have a mucousy film on their skin, and that's what nourishes the babies shortly after birth. They actually eat the mucus of their parents delicious, right? And then there's catfish that actually lay trophic eggs, so fake eggs just to feed their young, uh, which is also maybe a little bit gross and kind of sounds cannibalistic. And then lastly, there are fish that the male and female take turns. So the female jumps out of the water and deposits egg on eggs on a leaf, and then the male jumps out of the water and fertilizes the eggs, and they take turns until they have a whole clutch of eggs on this leaf. And then the male hangs out and splashes water on the eggs every minute to keep them from drying out until they hatch, which is actually quite a few days. Uh, so really dedicated parenting by that dad. Uh, and there's tons of cool stories in the fish world about really amazing parenting and awesome dads. Lots of parallels to our lives, I think. After the breeding and parenting chapter is the end of the book, which is a pretty depressing uh, and sobering account of commercial fishing and aquaculture. And it's just a really complex topic. It goes to show that uh, while we definitely are facing some overfishing problems, aquaculture, so raising fish for human consumption, is not necessarily a solution. Um, so I really encourage you to get out there, understand all the different sides of the issues, and reading this book is a great way to do that. But just like the lives of a fish, um, conservation around fish is also a complex and elaborate topic. All right, I hope you guys really enjoyed book club. I'll be announcing our next book soon, and I hope you'll join us in learning and educating yourself so that you can make great decisions about life and your beliefs and no cool stuff like that sticklebacks poop glue. <laughs>